So this is the tour of the most requested video that uh, I was asked to make. And finally, after procrastinating, I finally decided to show you my little desk slash happy place, thinking place, creative place mm -hmm. is. Um, it's just in a corner of my bedroom. The other side is the hubby's to the right of me and his is a mess, so I'm not going to put that on camera. Um, so I'm just going to show you my little area. Um, over here on my desk, I just have some cute things that I really enjoy, like this little, um, I, it's a little cup that I had picked up at Michael's, but I use it to hold paper clips in. And then that little mug is so pretty and dainty and shabby chic, and I just have some fun pens that I picked up from Dollar Tree and some cute pencils from Michael's. Um, that was last year's summer line, and then I have like my little cutter from Dollar Tree and then I have all little fun pads of paper and notes and like things to do for the week right here at my fingertips and then I have my favorite blinged out little calculator and then this I had made um, from Dollar Tree it was one of those um, card holders and it was originally either black or silver and I spray painted it hot pink and then just added some bling to it and I use it to hold my calculator but sometimes I even use it to hold my phone and then I have a little calendar that I just attached with a 3M hook to my husband's armoire so if I want to remove it it won't leave any damage but it's right here next to me so when I need to glance at the calendar it's there and then I just have some extra overflow of like Dollar Tree fun pads and notes and stuff I keep in here and this is some of my collection of gel pens that I say some I have many more that's just some that I keep on the desk and these were some cute containers that I had picked up last year from Dollar Tree and then I had gotten this book for Mother's Day and I just really like it it's called the Q&A another um, subscriber recommended it and it's really cute and I just like even the look of it but every day it asks a question and you write in it but I got it for Mother's Day so it's I started it in May then over here it's just my um, computer and um my keyboard and i tend to change my keyboard cover out a lot depending on my mood right now i'm back into my shabby chic swing so i have this pretty floral one um i do need a new mouse pad but i like the one with the gel support for my wrist here um and i don't use the mouse that came with the imac i actually hate it it was giving me joint pain because it's very flat where this one your hand is like over it more and curved so I switched that out and just threw it in the drawer for now. And then that's my backdrop. It's some pretty flowers. Um, I just think it's so cute. So I have that there. And then behind my computer, I just have some prints that I found at Walmart. Um, the lighting is causing a line. Um, this one says imagine, that one says hope, and I love birds and butterflies. And then I got this LED string of Martha Stewart flower lights um, in different shades of pink um, that I hung above my desk. And it's just, I have the little switch right here and it just it's with two batteries. And then over here, I made some artwork that I printed out. Um, I went on Tumblr and just printed some pretty floral. And then I just typed in start each day with a grateful heart, printed it out and framed it. And then this one, is obviously my channel's name and my Etsy shop and um, Facebook and Instagram chic done cheap and I just thought that was real pretty so that's an easy project you can do to just create a fun space for cheap um, then I have my vision board which is filled with stuff and little things and paying off debt and um, as you could see my office space was on that and I managed to do that one um by march i started working on the desk um then there's like a dream house we want to build down south someday and just some little things here on my board and i love saying so i have a lot of like angel sayings and um fun stuff like that and then this was just one of those peel and stick thingies that i got from dollar tree um, that says believe all things are possible if you believe and then from time to time I just stick little post-it notes with um, sayings or things that I want to achieve and I manifest my thoughts on them and then up here I may I just took one of those um, cardboard 
letters and I hot glued some beautiful flowers on it so that's my thing for there then over here is my very vintage printer but I absolutely love it it's white it's small it works the ink is cheap um, I do have a couple of other printers in the house but this one I like to keep on my desk I have a Wi-Fi one that's huge downstairs that I can send stuff to but I like this one for like printing my everyday coupons and stuff on and then this is like a little tower that I have paper and stuff stored in and then my weekly recipe binder that I go through to create my meal plan and then I keep little um, folders here to keep like my bills that come in and I do them by month and then I just have like all my fun papers and stuff here and then on my desk I just also have this little organizer that I had picked up at um home goods and it's so cute and pretty and it has all these little things for paper and I just love that okay and then over here I just have some more stuff these were those um things you pick up from Dollar Tree and they make these flowers I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them so I kind of just stuck them there for now um that's a little sign with love made of wood that I had picked up at a yard sale and then I have my Silhouette Curio, which I'm still trying to figure out. And honestly, I kind of lost my patience with it. Um, it's not cutting the way it's supposed to. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I am going to give it one more shot with vinyl, which I purchased over here. Then over here I have this little cubby cabinet that I picked up from Target. And it was real easy to put together. Matter of fact, myself and my daughter put this together. And then I just got some of these canvas uh, storage cubes from Dollar Tree. And some of these plastic bins from Dollar Tree and paper bins. And then those are just some cardboard like storage that you could use for photos or anything. I keep extra greeting cards in there. So when I have to send a card out, I have them right there. That's just like my little mess of papers. And then down there I have a whole thing of stickers. And those are all nail stickers, nail decals, and stuff that my daughter likes to play with with her nails. And then I have some of my Zen coloring books here. Some supplies for the curio and then in here is just computer stuff and then some extra crafting products and then over here on this wall so if you're sitting at my desk you'd be looking this way um i have this beautiful iron angel wing and it was originally black um but i like everything white and bright so i just spray painted it and then i went ahead and added some beautiful silk flowers and some ribbon and some pearls and then I just hung it from a ribbon and I think it looks so much better than what it did and then this was another little like um, bird cage thing that I got and this was another just plain icky brown I spray painted it and then I just hung some of these cute things that I had picked up last year from the shabby chic line at Michael's and I just use it to then go ahead and attach the clothes pins and stuff on there and then I have this little angel wind chime um, that my brother got me over here and then if you were sitting at my desk in this corner I have this cart that I had purchased from Ikea and it was originally this like dark tealy color which was fine but not for my decor so I spray painted it this pretty bubblegum pink and then I went ahead and added some bins that I had got at Target last year the dollar spot they had clearanced them to 25 cents and basically this one's like filled with my stamps and that one's filled with like paper press cutouts and little embellishments and more embellishments and then over here I have some of my supplies for drawing and I have more markers and more little post-its and this is all like my little cute um, pads of paper. Yeah, I have a paper problem. And then down here are some more paper, more books, more pads, more paper, more paper, more books, more pads, more books, more books, more pads. <laughs> and then on the front of them are these uh, magnetic tins that you um, can hold craft supplies in. And I got them from Dollar Tree. Some people were complaining theirs wouldn't stick. Um, I don't have a problem with mine. Um, you did have to buy the individual ones, not the ones that were in the two-pack. Um, mine stick. I don't know why other people are having problems, but mine work great, and I'm happy with them. And then over here is, like, my bookshelf corner, and I have some other craft boxes up there with storage supplies. 
Then in here I have some of my essential oils. I have so many diffusers. Um, some makeups that I use daily that I just need in a pinch. And then um, these, this is some artwork that I just made that I uploaded to my Etsy shop. Um, this is another one that I made. I just took masonry jar and shabby chic did so if you're interested in any of my products um follow me on etsy at cheryl's two angels chic done cheap i couldn't do chic done cheap for some reason on etsy it was saying the name or something too long to use whatever so i had to add cheryl's two angels in front of it but um i'll be sure to put the link because i will be uploading more items as i make them as i'm trying to get back into my crafting um i really enjoy it it's a stress reliever and i love creating things so over here is like my book collection more books more books and more books and i just have like tins and junk here so basically almost all of them i read um some of the newer ones that i didn't read i keep over here in the front basically i have pretty much kind of the same theme of books it has to do a lot with angels miracles heaven spiritual things um then i also have a lot of like philosophy things and just like you know how to live life better the um you know things you should do before you die understanding life you know a lot of those kind of self-help i love those kind of books that you can like kind of relate to and um yeah so anyway that's that then over here um i'm gonna quick show you um my chair is just like um white leather it's a high back um it's kind of wide and big i had a pillow then i didn't have a pillow then sometimes i have my um throw over it because i get chilly plus it is white um and in case my kids sit here i don't want them spilling or doing anything to get it dirty but uh, i'll go ahead and give you a tour of the drawers this is like my filming drawer i have like my camera my cards my supplies um extra checkbook my planner my filming planner my daily planner in there and then in this one i have all my washi tapes um and all of these bins were like from dollar tree and stuff and most of the washi tapes are dollar tree so yeah i have quite um a collection and i think i'm gonna stop i have too many and i really don't need any more and then this is just like some envelopes and packaging tape um, and then in here, it's this cute little organizer, and I have more camera cards and memory sticks and stuff like that. And then in the next one, it's kind of like um, my stickers and stencils and more stuff for the Curio Silhouette machine that cannot fit in um, the bins. They're too long, so I just keep them in here. And then the bottom drawer is, yes. More paper, more cards, more paper, more paper, more paper. Cheryl loves paper. Page flags. I I love like these things to do lists. Uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I have so many, and I just keep buying them. Yeah, it's a problem, but whatever. And then let me show you this side. Um, the reason the two sides were different, I had to actually build this from. Um, ikea and they didn't have two available the other one and i was getting tired of waiting so i went ahead and just picked up this one so this is like cheryl's junk drawer cheryl has a sweet tooth so she's got her candy here while editing and i have another um memory stick and some extra ink and extra just extra crap um then in this drawer i have more staples more pins all different kinds of pins and staples and more pins and yeah and then in this drawer i have all different kind of scissors and rubber bands and paper clips and more pens and a glue stick and more uh, paper clips and um this i got these tins um bins were from dollar tree and they were silver but i spray painted them pink so i have everything matchy matchy and then in here i basically use this to hold these up i have to get that uh, insert that sits in the drawer to hold up your 
um, files but anyway this is where I keep like extra and then I just have like my files to file paper so I'm trying to be organized and yeah so this is my um, desk tour and I hope you enjoyed my little area and hopefully the lighting it looks like we're gonna get a thunderstorm but I'm just trying to get this video out so yeah, I don't know why the lighting um, hopefully it'll show up pretty good but anyway yeah this is my little area so hope you all like it and yeah I'll probably switch it around like a million more times like I always do but this is the way it's currently looking at the moment <laughs> And thanks for watching. Bye.